Hi friends, this video is a review on the Aveeno Calm and Restore Triple Oat Serum. I have been trying this product for a while and I thought it was about time I do a little review video, let you guys know if this product's worked for me, how I've used it, and just talk a little bit about the product. Before we get into the review video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see what videos I come up with next. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried this, if it's worked for you, what your thoughts were, or if there's any other videos or products you'd like me to review, I'd love to hear from you. So now let's get into the video. So I was really intrigued by this product because I saw all the positive reviews. So I wanted to, I wanted to try it to see if it was actually worth the hype. So what is the serum really? So this is a hydrating serum uh, that contains triple oat complex that's supposed to soothe and fortify the skin's moisture barrier. It contains um, oat oil, which is supposed to condition dry skin and help restore the skin's moisture barrier. And it also contains oat extract. Um, now this is supposed to provide a soothing effect while gently nourishing your skin. So what's so great about oats? I remember that as a kid, if you had like dry, flaky, itchy, red, irritated skin, the doctor would sometimes recommend that you take an oat bath. And I remember this used to help soothe some of that itchiness and some of that redness and like help soothe the irritated skin. And then I wanted to look a little bit into it and see like, why is that? And I found out that this is because there are certain compounds in oats that actually help nourish the skin and create a protective barrier around the skin that'll like protect the skin against certain irritants. So what are these compounds you ask? I'm glad you did. Even if you didn't, I'm going to quickly tell you. So the first one, and pardon the butchering of the word, um, I believe it's pronounced polysaturides or saturates. Um, so these help bind to skin fluids to create a protective barrier. Then there's carbohydrates, which have qualities that dissolve well in water, which makes them perfect for moisturizing because they can really penetrate that skin barrier. Then you got proteins, which moisturize and emulsify. Um, this is helping them to create a protective barrier for your skin. And then there's lipids and flat flavonoids, or yeah, flavonoids, I think. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, which have antioxidant qualities that help make your skin healthier. So now that I have geeked out on this information, we can get back to the review. This retails for 26 Canadian dollars at Walmart, and it comes with 29 milliliters of product. Let's talk about the packaging. I think the packaging is nice. It's more on the simplistic side. I do like the, the font. I like the light blue font, you know, the little leaves on the bottle. Very nice. But oh my God, when we get to the dropper. So this comes with a dropper dispenser um, and it's a pump dropper so that means you have to press the top here to pick up the product and then press it down again to dispense the product it doesn't work very well it doesn't pick up a lot of product and i find that i'm constantly like fighting with it to pick up enough product so i can get the three to four drops that they recommend to apply to your skin so if you see you know i will pick up i'll press the pump and then when i dispense you just get just one drop just one drop and sometimes i get like a half a drop so it's just not it's it's not a very useful um pump dropper but i my other issue is i can just imagine how, how hard it's going to be to get the uh, product out of this bottle when i'm almost like oh i'm down to here with the product so when i'm almost done the bottle it's going to be kind of annoying to get product out so i think at that point i'm just gonna have to dump it in my hand because this dropper will be absolutely useless. So one last thing about the packaging, because it comes in a clear glass bottle, make sure you don't store this in direct sunlight because the heat from the sun will actually heat up the product and it will break down the active ingredients, which will make the serum less effective. And that applies with any product, any skincare product that's actually stored in a clear glass bottle. Okay, now I'm done. So before we go any further, I just want to do a public service announcement for everyone. Um, because this comes with a dropper, please do not feel compelled to drag this little dropper across your skin. Droppers should never come in contact with skin. They are meant to just 
pick up the product and dispense it in your hand. They're not meant to be dragged across the skin or come in contact with the skin. And this is because your skin has oils and different bacteria that when you drag the dropper across your skin, you pick up the, those oils and the bacteria and you put it back into the bottle and it mixes with the product and it just harbors bacteria and it can cause breakouts or a bacterial rash. And this is because the preservatives used in products that have um, droppers versus products that have that are like in jars where you can use your fingers to to get the the product out like a cream so products that have droppers as dispensers don't have the same preservatives to to stop bacteria from forming because it's not meant to come in contact with your skin the dropper is not actually supposed to touch your skin therefore they don't use the same preservatives in the product so the moment you start touching your skin with the dropper and putting it back in there, there's no preservatives to fight that bacteria from forming. So just pick up the product with the dispenser and drop it in your hand. Do not let it touch your skin. So I'm going to pump one um, drop from the bottle just to blend it on the back of my hand so you can see the texture and just what it looks like. So we're gonna try to get a drop and that's about a drop, a little less than a drop, but that's okay. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and right away you see that it's it's runny but once I start blending it in right away it feels very hydrating and also moisturizing it doesn't feel sticky at all and it just blends really easily and quickly and gets absorbed really nicely by the skin and I noticed that with this my skin did feel a moisturizing um, feeling with it. It wasn't just a hydrating feeling, so it was really nice. It adds a nice layer of moisture to your skin. It doesn't just hydrate it. So currently my skin is normal to dry and it is a bit on the drier side because it's winter. So I find that my skin does seem to get a bit drier in the winter. Um, I know um, there are people out there that have the same experience. So I was looking for something to add to my morning skincare routine that will help and work with my moisturizer to kind of hold on to that moisture throughout the day, not just the hydration, but I was looking for an added um, moisture level that kind of like lasts throughout the day. And I found that since using um, this Aveeno Calm and Restore uh, Serum, that moisture does actually last throughout the day. I find that my skin feels more plump and even like halfway through the day or by the end of the day when I touch my skin, my skin still feels really nice and moisturized, hydrated and plump. I find that my skin texture has improved a little bit because of the added hydration and moisture. Um, and I found that makeup application has been much better. Um, I think that my makeup just sits nicer on the skin and the longevity and the wearability of my makeup is better since adding the serum just because it's been extra cold here and my skin has just been getting a bit drier than usual. So I found that for during the day I needed a little bit of help, a little bit of an extra added level of moisture and hydration. And I was shocked that a drugstore product was able to provide this. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely be repurchasing this. I have even added it to my nighttime skincare routine just because I loved how well it worked with my morning skincare routine. So I've added this to my night skincare routine and I've been loving it. Um, I would definitely be repurchasing this, like I said, but I just really, really hope that they change the dropper because I'm just not a fan of like, it. That at least make it pick up some product. Like right now I just did one pump and look at this, barely, barely a pump, it's half a pump, just not good. So I'm really hoping they do something about the dropper. That would be great. So if you're someone like me that's tried hyaluronic acid and just wasn't a fan, give this serum a try. It doesn't just hydrate your skin, it moisturizes it as well and it has properties that help repair your skin's moisture barrier which hyaluronic acid doesn't do. So I was a huge fan of this and for me hyaluronic acid just wasn't uh, my number one pick and in general I just thought it was overhyped please don't hate me, it's just my personal opinion. But this serum actually did what I wanted, what, what I needed it to do. So the extra level of moisture that this adds, game changer. So I absolutely loved it. So to close off this review, this product does say that it's for all skin types and it can be used on sensitive skin. But like I say in all my other videos, 
make sure that you do a patch test with any new product. Doesn't matter if it says it's for sensitive skin, you have to try it out to see if it works for you. Everyone's skin is different. I know I sound like a broken record if you watch my other videos, but I think this is really important. So make sure you do a little patch test, you see how your skin reacts, and if you're fine, then you can try the product all over your skin. This way you won't have an allergic reaction or an irritation all over your skin. This is why it's so important to do a patch test. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Hit that subscribe button to see what videos I come up with next and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried this Aveeno Triple Oat Serum. Let me know if you've liked it and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to do or any other products you'd like me to review. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.